Here we have a wonderful example of the gynecoid pelvic shape. As you can see, at the pelvic cavity, we have a circular shape, a transverse circular shape, and the, there's a nice space in between the coccyx and the suprapubic arch. The pelvic inlet includes the sacral pr prominence here, um, along with the ischial tuberosities right here and the tip of the pubic arc, which makes a diamond shaped into the, the pelvis like this. So when we have a woman with this gynecoid pelvic shape, it's the preferred pelvis for a vaginal delivery. This baby here is presenting in LOA, left occiput anterior, and if we see the, um, the presentation, we will see the baby at that position of LOA. This baby has descended, is at th plus three station. If we started here at zero station, to engage, the baby descends and becomes engaged in the pelvic cavity, in the true pelvis. First, what needs to happen is the baby then flexes the head to the presenting part comes, um, the occiput presents. And with that, there is an internal rotation to where the baby becomes OA temporarily before then extending through the pelvic cavity and the head is born. Uh, restitution happens where the body goes back to match, the, the head goes back to match the body in a, um, a transverse position. And then from there, from the restitution, the internal rotation happens, the, post, the anterior shoulder is born, and then the posterior shoulder is born. With that, the mother can reach down and pull the baby onto her belly.